Hi, welcome back to the channel. It's Dean. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing great. And today we're going to react to another fingerstyle guitar song because I like to react to fingerstyle acoustic guitar. It is a genre which I actually did some work of my own. Too bad I didn't record an album. This is back in the late 90s. Anyways, it's an amazing, it's amazing what you can do with six strings. Oh, just a quick note. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're interested in the channel. So here we go. That's a beautiful sounding guitar and well played, yes. Um, Manelli Jamal. So, Jamal, Jamal? Candy Rat Records, they're a good label. Uh, they take on a lot of uh, great uh, fingerstyle guitarists. I think, uh, I don't think uh, Ali Pata is on that label though. I think he's just self publishing himself, I guess. Anyways, um, beautiful sounding guitar, I have to say. It just sounded so great. It was really well recorded and. Um, obviously the guitar is tuned to uh, some kind of a chord. It's definitely not standard tuning. And the other thing too, I notice he's got his first fret capoed. 
uh, which a lot of um, flamenco players do that. A lot of flamenco players are always doing that. And I'm guessing the reason they do that, well, I'm pretty sure the reason they do that, although I've never asked any of them, you can tell me in the comments below, is because it means the action is going to be really low. Because when you let go of that fret, the you've got the nut, which sort of is your standard of... Uh, how high it is, but usually if it were on the, f if pretending that this was the, the net, that if that was the nut, it would mean the action's a little lower. So maybe it's to do with feel, that that, that it just changes the feel of the guitar, I don't know. So um, one other thing I know is he uses one of those little curvy thumb picks, which kind of curves around your thumb and then sticks out, protrudes. I've tried those and I just can't get used to them. I can only use a regular pick. Uh, I use these, you know, Dunlop 0.73s. That's what I used for years. And and if I'm not doing that, then I'm doing finger picking, which is just my hands. You know, just doing it that way. So uh, I can see the need to do that though, because one of the needs of using a thumb pick is it really makes it more pronounced and if you're performing I mean if you're in your bedroom it doesn't make such a difference but when you start performing out in public you tend to realize oh I'm playing a little too soft here I've got to project more so you want to put a little more force in your, on your guitar and work it a little harder so I really enjoyed that nice to hear nice guitar player thanks for recommending him to me and we'll we'll see you guys uh, at another video on this channel hopefully make sure you subscribe leave a thumbs down and Leave a thumbs down. No, don't leave a thumbs down. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. Anyways, Spiraling Out is Dean. Talk to you later. Bye now.